it's a collection of of songs that I that I wrote I think in the space of a year um, and I basically started recording it when when the urge to, to do so when the urge to get something on tape when that urge became too strong to kind of push it aside anymore I went through a lot that year and and um, I just I, I guess I just felt like I had something to say. Hammer on my heart strings. Go on, let it spill. And it felt right to, to name the EP after that, sort of as an homage to, to the song. Um, and I think howling as as a, as an expression or an exclamation seemed seemed. Uh, seemed appropriate for how I felt when I finished it as well. It was, um, I, I'm, I'm really proud of this EP, you know. Is all my horror knows. So hammer on my heart um, Tears in the Water I wrote because I, it wasn't so much about, about having hope or faith or so to speak. It was actually more of a uh, it was almost like a cry for help. And I sat down and wrote a blues song. <laughs> um, which which uh, which I ended up which ended up being a lot poppier than, than I first meant it. But um, Yeah, the reason why it says give me hope in, in, in the chorus and in the first verse and the same thing is like, give me sense and give me laughter and, and give me love was just that I felt like everything was kind of falling apart on that particular day. I'm a bit of a drama queen when it comes to these things, <laughs> but it genuinely, I was like, it was, it was, it was a terrible thing. Um, but you know, it's a good way of getting it out of the system. Florence Welsh has, has an amazing voice, so I was a little bit intimidated by it first because her vocal performance is incredible on that. But I also saw that because of how different my music is to, to a dance track like that, I'd be able to make it my own. Tiger version of the uh, of the EP, um, the extended version, I guess is what I've been calling it. I've actually put three extra songs, two originals and one cover. Yeah. <laughs> 